Hi, I'm Conchetta, this is Pina, and we're the Pluchinotta family. Today we're going to be making lamb backstrap with garlic sauce and flatbread. This is a great meal to make when you're in a hurry and it won't take you all night to slave over a hot oven. Well, I'm going to activate the yeast. This here. So that's got yeast and yeast sugar. and sugar. So I'll activate like that. Great. I'm going to put together the spices and the garlic for the marinade. So we add our garlic and all the spices. Oil. And we mix that together, getting ready to make a rub for the lamb backstrap. So we take our pastry brush and pop that just on the lamb, making sure you're covering every part of that. Now we'll turn that around just like that. We'll let that sit for about 15 minutes to infuse all the flavour. So if you're wanting to make a quick dish, 15 minutes is fine, but overnight is better. So now the um, yeast has activated, I am going to do a dough, yeah? And I add um, a bit of oil and put it all together until it forms into a ball. So I'm just kneaded it on the board, which it makes it easier. And I'm going to place it into the bowl here and let it rest for about 30 minutes until it doubles the size. So the dough has now doubled up in size and I'm going to split it up. With your hands, that's good. Oh. Mama always works with her hands. <laughs> so that's that. And I'm going to, of course, work it out a little bit until it has smoothened up again. I use the techniques like to roll it through. Sideboard. <laughs> and just a little bit of flour on the bottom so it won't stick. Get the rolling pin, roll it out until it's nice and smooth, thin. So it's all thinned out, nice and smooth. I'm going to poke it with the um, fork so it, it'll stop from puffing up. Put some oil in and voila. Once the dough starts to bubble up, you'll know that it's time to flip it over and uh, start cooking the other side. So we're looking for a really nice crispy golden brown on both sides. And as you can see, the bread remains flat because of the holes that are put into the dough. So the lamb has been marinating and has infused all its flavours with all the spices and the garlic. Now we are going to sear it onto a hot griddle pan for about three minutes each side. And I like to put it on an angle so it gets those beautiful char grilled lines. Now, a lot of people have a tendency to turn meat all the time. Just leave it, let it cook that side for the first three minutes, then we turn it over and you'll do the same on the other side. We're looking to cook this to about a medium rare. You just don't want to overcook this. Now, this is my favourite part, flipping and having a look at the beautiful char oh, grill. beautiful. Look now, we're just that. going to turn it on the other side and we'll cook that for a further three minutes. And the smell in here is amazing. It's such a simple piece of meat that you don't need to overwork it. I feel like my jello. So we're going to remove the lamb from the grill. We're going to let that rest for about five to six minutes. Resting the meat is important so all the juices stay in and it doesn't run. So the lamb has been resting for about five to six minutes and now it's time to carve it up. Now what you're looking for is a nice medium rare. As you can see, this is a lovely pink and that's exactly the way I like to eat my lamb. So this is our lamb backstrap with flatbread and garlic sauce. For the full recipe, go to familyfoodfight.com.au.